Here, where the Auburn School Board meets, they shine a light on the building, illuminating the words, support the truth. Because the truth is the most important thing. Russ Mintink is here for his son, Justin. They hoist a banner up bearing his name and head inside. To so support the truth to me means let's look into this and see what really happened. Rochelle Mintink says her husband, Justin, has spent the last five seasons as coach of Auburn Trojans baseball until he was stripped of that title. She says it started in May. There was a family who had a false allegation against Justin about saying profanity directed at a certain player. The district did an uh, investigation and it was found, found to be false. She says the same family came forward again in June asking for a second investigation and again the allegation was found to be false. Then in August she claims the family asked for a third investigation and this time the school district had a new human resources director and teachers had a new union representative. All they did was interrogate the coaches based on them interviewing the student who had already been found twice to have lied. She acknowledges the investigation did find some profanity-laced private text messages about the player bringing the allegation that two assistant coaches exchanged. It was because it was third investigation was being opened and of course they're upset. Okay, should they have said those things? Probably not, but Justin never said those things. Now he's no longer coach. The school district and school board say they will not comment on personnel matters. But in this room behind the team, men tink t-shirts are people who want answers. The unscrupulous mismanagement of this case reaches every staff member and every family in this district. They're speaking up and shining a light on what they say is an injustice. Make it right, do the right thing. What's wrong with this world? The community has seen what's happened and I don't want this to happen to other coaches and it's just not fair. In Auburn, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.